Hi there, today we are going to talk about find multiple hotspots in H5P activity and how you can use it in your courses. Let's begin. First, please turn editing on. You won't be able to see the button add an activity or resource if the editing is off. So once you are in the page or in the space where you want to put this type of activity and an activity or resource click on that and go to activities and find h5p once you're in there you'll be able to see this page you will have to fill out all the necessary details before we proceed to creating the activity itself since this is about find the multiple hotspots, then that's what I'm going to put as its name. Find multiple hotspots. All right. Well, at least for me, the find the hotspots in general is a vi visual version of multiple choice. Now, let's input the grade. Let's try only five points here. Okay, and I want it to be a perfect score. Because let's make it ultimately easy. Attempt options. I want it always to be the first attempt. So the students will not have a time to relax on answering or at least have the mindset of, of trying it first before going through the real deal. Okay, the common module settings, restrict access, activity completion. As always, I wanted to have a deadline. So it is a must if you want the students to follow the rules or at least be graded on time then you must input a deadline until when this type of activity will be opened or answered okay i'm done with that and then let's put the tags later i will be showing you where the students can find this okay so let's put find the multiple hot spots okay and uh, let's go back up and create the activity itself when you see the use the content pack to manage your h5p files the words in open and close parentheses click on that and you will be directed to the content pack up here as you can see the add button Okay, it is clickable. That means in here you will be able to see all the list of the HFP activities that you can intersperse or insert to your course. And in this video, I'm going to present how you will be able to use to find the multiple hotspots in your course. There we go. Let's click on that. And we will be prompted to the H5P editor integrated into the platform. Okay, so no need to go to H5P's website. You won't need to sign up there or create an account or activate a membership whatsoever because the editor is already integrated to your website. Okay, I hope that that's clear. Let's put the title. Hmm, find the multiple hotspots. Let's put that, but I'm thinking of a different title. Let's say, hmm, okay. So identify. Hmm. Ah, okay. 
step one mm -hmm. the title of this question image hotspot question okay so hmm which ones are the foods that can boost your brain health <laughs> i'm so obsessed with brains as you can see sorry about that now the background image okay let's see if i have the perfect picture for that hmm. <laughs> okay i think i have one right here Here we go. And let's now go to step two. Oops. Oh, I think it should be copied here. So let's make this shorter. Okay, brain boosting food. There. Okay, please enter the word what the user is trying to find. Okay, healthy food. Number of correct hotspots that need to be found for question completion. K5. Okay, and let's choose the appropriate figure for the hotspot. Okay, let's try the circle. Okay, and this is the correct one. Okay, the feedback. Mm hmm okay so brain boosting food okay salmon let's see it is okay or you can put some facts here it contains omega-3 fatty acids and DHA not sure but yeah okay you can put this as a feedback there let's see where the salmon is okay you can adjust how big you want the spot can be all right so just to be sure that the student will click the right one okay so that's that and then the next one is a brain boosting, uh, let's say nuts, or are those legumes? Okay, let's say legumes, not sure, but okay, they are good sources of mm, not sure ALA <laughs> okay let's put there okay let's try to find another one okay something that's good for the brain is eggs Okay, a great a source of protein. Here are the eggs. What else? Mm, I see we have here bananas. However, I'm not sure if they're really good for the brain but just for the sake of this activity let's try that banana
<laughs> let's say for example uh, the amount of potassium found in a banana okay uh, let's try that okay they might overlap so here you go just be sure that only the bananas will be clicked and the last one I believe or at least what I like is tomatoes tomatoes they can um, eliminate free radicals because they are antioxidants here so let's put that in here okay there we go there so once you were done with that you might want to give feedback to those users who will select anywhere but the right answers Hmm, I think that's all good. So once you have already um, done this task, then let's try to save it. Let's try it for ourselves. Which ones are the foods that can boost your brain health? Okay, let's try. Oh, okay. Banana, tomatoes, nuts, one more, eggs, there we go. So what if we try to select, okay, I'm trying to click on the other areas, but nothing seems to appear. But yeah, we found all. Once you're all good with the activity you have created, close this. So it will be stored in the content bank. You see, it is right here. Okay, let's go back to the page where we are supposed to upload this file. So let's click on the box, then choose the one that we have created earlier, select the file, and there we have it. Save and display. And there you have it. There. Choing. Oh, tomatoes. Boink, boink, boink. <laughs> there. Let's choose the right ones. Salmon, the eggs, and the legumes. There we go. Wasn't so hard, was it? We are done with the Find the Multiple Hotspots. I hope you can use this type of activity in any of the subjects you are teaching. And I hope this can be of great help in making your classes dynamic and more interesting. That's it for this video. Thank you so much. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.